<laughs> so my name's Miguel. Uh, I'm originally from San Francisco. Uh, has anybody been to San Francisco? Oh, yeah. that's, uh, that's a nice place, right? All right. Uh, San Francisco is cool, but whenever you tell people, people that you're from San Francisco, uh, I, I often get this, like, San Francisco, that's pretty gay. <laughs> like they just thought of that, right? That's pretty gay. Ha! That's gay. You're gay. Ha! <laughs> Woo! High-fiving, right? L.A. has a lot of gay people, too. We have a different word for them here, though. We call them actors. Now, let me tell you something. <laughs> I say you live your life, you do what you do. Yeah, Hollywood is a crazy place. I live, uh, I live in, in Hollywood. Uh, I, I like Hollywood, but it sometimes it gets to be too much. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I have compassion for homeless people. I really do. I'm from San Francisco. I know what it's about. But sometimes it gets to be too much, right? The other day, I'm walking down the street. This guy comes up to me. He's drunk. He's like right up in my face. He's like, hey, buddy, can I bother you for a quarter? I was like, dude, you're bothering me for free. But you know what? <laughs> I will take a quarter because I love change. <laughs> then we laughed and hugged till he bit me. But you know what? I felt like I made a friend. That was the important thing. People often ask me, Miguel, you watch a lot of pro wrestling. What do you think about gay marriage? Now look, what? Uh -huh. Very funny. Let me tell you something, guys. I don't care what people think of me based on superficial things like what I look like or where I am from. Okay, I really don't care, all right? I stopped caring about that kind of thing the day that I woke up and realized that I was going bald. <laughs> That's not the joke part, people. <laughs> you don't have to laugh at that. <laughs> That's the sad, tragic part. But the other thing, too, that kind of sucks is I'm not going bald in a cool way. Some people go bald in a cool way, right? Like you've seen it. Like some people start going bald, you get that little widow's peak in the front. You know what I'm talking about? That little triangle thing, right? It's, it's cool. It makes you look like a famous writer or a Scottish actor or that kid from the Munsters. Something hip, you know? It's a cool look. I don't have that look. No, I've got the deforestation, deregulation look. See that? Inconvenient truth. You see that? See how it kind of looks like there's a concert going on in my head, but all the people with the good seats have either taken off early or haven't gotten there yet? I'm sitting there going, come on, fellas, plenty of seats up the middle. You're gonna miss it. My nose is gonna give a Barack Obama acceptance speech. <laughs> Sometimes I shave my head because I'm going bald, which I realize is kind of like cutting off your penis because it's small, but look. <laughs> trying to fool people here. It could be worse though, it could be worse. I could be one of the 8.5 million Americans who's out there right now tragically suffering from unnecessary male ponytail. Mm. Afflicting a generation. Oh man. Give it up for you. Cat Catsy lost 125 pounds. How do you do that? How do you even do that? I don't even know how you do that. That is crazy, man. I, I, I'm trying to lose weight, but it's hard. It's, I love food. I love it, man. I love it. You know, so I take the easy way out. That's how I do it, man. You ever feel like you need to be on a diet, and then you take a dump, and you're like, I'm good, you know? <laughs> Apparently, I didn't need a fitness regimen at all. I just needed some raisin bran and a little bit of denial. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, man. That is pretty funny. Um, I, uh, <clears throat> I'm a pretty nice person, um, thank you, and, uh, I am, uh, there's certain people, though, who I, who I just can't stand, and, I, and I'll tell you about them right now, uh, narcissists, I can't stand people who are narcissistic, I, I, I get, a, the, the older I get, the, like, the, like, less tolerance I have for, it. my least favorite narcissistic activity that people engage in, uh, is people who ask and answer their own questions. You know? Don't you hate that? Of course you do. It's irritating, right? I don't need someone else to answer for me. Let me answer the goddamn question. 